I want to show you a neat little thing you can do with the elemental loop grid. And I'm sure many of you are aware of this. What we have here is a loop grid. And what I want to do is add in a little bit of variation with an alternate template. But I want to try and make it as consistent as possible. What we have here is a grid of four by three. And what I want to do is for every third post, I want them to, the image to be double in height. Now, this is really, really simple to do, but let me just go through the basics. Obviously, you've got to have Elemental uh, Pro. You've got to make sure Flexbox Container and Loop Grid are activated in your Elemental features. And what we have over here is a Loop Grid. This is really, really simple, okay? Four columns, uh, items, uh, we have 12, four by three. If I go to Edit Template, you're going to see that this is not much more other than you have the featured image, which is going to be over here. You've got the title and you've got the post, uh, what's it called, the post info as well. Now, in terms of layout, the featured image, I have set it to be a height of 200. This actually is very, very key. If you go and build it and you don't set a height and set the object fit to be covered, by the way, let me just show you this. If you delete that, you won't. Act, this option actually doesn't actually appear. When you go and pop the height in, you'll get the center center, the top center, the bottom center, all of those features. And you also get the ability to go and set it to be a contain or a cover. You want to make sure it is set as cover and you want to set the height. I'm going to set it as 200 pixels. You can go for REM, EM, anything like that as well, even percentage. But I want to be very, very specific. And then I've got my terms over here and I've just gone and centralized them. And there's not much more going on other than that. What I am going to do though, is copy that entire container. So you're not copying the loop grid, you're copying the template within. Okay, so you copy the template, that's all you gotta do. Now we're gonna hit save and back. So I have my template and this is how it looks. Now what I'm gonna do is go back into my loop grid, go down here where it says alternate template, click that and now I'm gonna create a new template. Now if you've already created one, you just go and type in the name, type in the word loop and you'll start to see loads of templates appear a bit like that, when, but then it gets starts to get very confusing over what is what, or just go and create one from scratch. So we're gonna hit create template, hit save. So it now allows us to create the template. And all you're gonna do is paste what we already did before. That's how simple and easy it is, okay? So we've now pasted it. Now I'm gonna click on the image and I'm gonna say, I want this image now to be 400 pixels in height. Does that make sense? That's why I said set your 200. So when you go to 400, you now know it's double. If you wanted to do it in a bit more of a mathematical, statistical way, you could change the values. That is all we're gonna do. Then I'm gonna hit update, and then I'm gonna close this down. Now, when you create a normal template, it normally says save and back. When you go to alternate, it doesn't actually give you that message. So once you've hit update, go and hit the X and now you're back in. Go back to your page, it might not actually make it visible. So what you gotta do is just go over here, type in loop, and you should see your latest one appear. It's always gonna be the much higher number. Of course, please be careful if you've gone and created a hundred of these, cause you could be here for a very, very long time. So we're gonna go and pick 4031 and you'll now notice that every third post, cause I've said position grid three, the third one is now the double in height but I'm not liking the way that looks. So the really simple, easy thing to do is go and hit masonry. And you can now see that we have a very clean looking masonry effect. And look, it's because we've kind of pulled through the right number of posts, everything is nice and geometric. We don't have that staggered effect at the bottom that you would get with masonry. Like if I apply this once, so now only one of the posts does it, and the rest are all the standard 200 pixel, we get this staggered effect. So you do have to think a little bit about how's the look gonna go. If you don't mind a staggered effect, go for it. But I like things to be very geometric. Pretty simple and easy to do. So just be aware of your image heights when you are building a loop grid and you're planning to use alternate templates. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. Like, subscribe, share, and follow. See you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that. Fact.